Yes, dear student, now I come to next important topic actually. We will keep on learning the uh, some uh, selected topics and which make later on great confusion. So fluid, I told you the uh, uh, materials which don't have their own shape, they, they, they uh, uh, obtain the shape of container with their cap. So what is the meaning of fluid thrust and fluid pressure? You have to understand something very simple thing which create a knowledge here. The molecules, the I am coming just to for this. The molecules, this uh, figure is different thing. I will take later on. Of fluid cap in a container or vessel, you can say vessel, button, are in random motion, random motion. Random motion molecule keep on moving here and there. They are na, while the liquid or fluid is at rest. Air molecules in the room are in random motion. Though air appears at rest in the room. If no fan is running on this. So that appears to be at but molecular motion. And this motion magnitude of the value depends on temperature. The <coughs> magnitude of random motion motion depends on temperature you will learn gradually when the topics are there coming there temperature temperature hence this motion then hence the motion is called thermal agitation so thermal agitation is movement of molecules due to random motion so when molecules are in their motion, they collide with the walls of container due to this random motion. Molecules collide with the walls of vessel and reflected back reflected back so there occur there occurs change in change in momentum of molecules momentum you know is vector quantity p equal to mv the molecules coming to the wall container collide here normally and reflected back to velocity get changed to momentum get changed the change in momentum per unit time 
Chain momentum per unit time is equal to force. So due to collision of molecules with the wall, there is a chain momentum and hence walls apply was applied the force on colliding molecule from Newton third law from Newton's third law The same force, the same force will be applied by the molecules on the walls. normally they are perpendicular to the wall because they could have perpendicular they are there uh, molecules on the the same force the same force will be applied by the molecules on the walls perpendicularly perpendicularly this normal force this normal force applied this normal force acting on walls due to collision of molecules with wall with walls is called fluid thrust fluid thrust fluid thrust I think it must be very clear to you now. I told you here that when any fluid is kept in a container or vessel, the molecules are in random motion and due to random motion they collide normally. Here the molecule moves this way, collide perpendicularly, get reflected back and due to that or if it gets actually reflected uh, not normally, then component chain momentum will be now normal. Vertical component gets zero. So this normal force due to collisions which occurs there because of chain momentum. When molecules collide, they, there occurs chain momentum. And due to the chain momentum, chain momentum per in time force, remember Newton's second law. So this normal thrust acting on this normal thrust of fluid. And this normal thrust actually, this normal thrust per in surface area, I may write here this. This normal thrust. per unit area of per area of walls is called fluid pressure fluid pressure
Now, I come to the diagram. By here I told you when a fluid kept in the uh, container, the molecules collide and normal surface. Similarly, when a solid is submerged in a liquid like this, this is solid here. It is submerged in a liquid. Then the liquid molecule all collide with this wall surface. Normally, this force, this way, this way, from all six sides, it will experience force. And that force act normally. If there is, if this is not, this one not there, if the thrust is not normal, then there may be a component force along tangent to surface. Here, liquid is at rest, so there is no motion. I should say when I am writing here. Similarly, similarly, if a solid is submerged, submerged, submerged in a fluid at rest, then So, solid surface experience forces on each face. This force, the you know, uh, on its face normally. If similarly, when a solid is submerged in a fluid at rest, you can take a liquid also. Mother, container at rest, the liquid inside that is supposed to be at rest. Their, their thunder, their motion, random motion is other thing. But as a whole, it is a test. If the force, forces, do not act, do not act normally, then there would I should say if the forces were not normal normal then there there would be components of forces Along surface, along tangent to surface, along tangent to surface, tangent to surface. This component this component uh, will produce motion in fluid 
y should be at rest is at rest तो फ्लूड एट रेस्ट है तो देर फोर इट इज दवर इमोशन दैट फोर्स में भी नॉट नॉर्मली इज रोंग तो फोर्स विल आर वेज एक्ट नॉर्मली एंड दिस नॉर्मल थ्रस्ट पर एरिया इज कॉल्ड प्रेशर ऑफ द फ्लूड ऑन द सरफेस सॉरी एंड द हैंड्स Hence, force acts normally on the faces of solid submerged, submerged in the liquid. In the fluid, this normal thrust per unit area is called pressure. Exerted by Fluid on surface. Now I say here if if F be the normal thrust normal thrust of fluid of Fluid on area capital A of solid surface. Then pressure exerted by fluid is. Given by P equal to F upon A, P equal to F upon A. Here this pressure is a scalar quantity because here we have taken not vector force. We have taken only normal component, magnitude of normal component of force. If anyhow force act. Obliquely on any surface, like you can have a table and you can apply force. So we have taken only normal component. Pressure is scalar quantity. Pressure is scalar quantity. Its unit is newton per meter square. Or Pascal, Pascal, P A. Damn it, formula you have learned. Damn it, formula you have learned. M minus one, T minus two. In last chapter, I have discussed lot of things. There are some other units of pressure, practical units. There are some other units of pressure. Actually, we will come here. Across many topics, so other inner pressure, the other units of pressure are number one, atmospheric pressure, one atm, one atm is a unit. Which is equal to one point zero one three ten to the power five newton per meter square. One atm or one bar. 
वन बार टेन फुट बार फाइव न्यूट्रन पर मीटर स्क्वायर और पासल एंड टोर टोर यार यूनिट वन टोर एक्चुअली वन टोर आई विल बी टेलिंग यू लेटर ऑन इक्वल टू प्रेशर और लिक्विड कॉलम वाटर कॉलम ऑफ मरकरी कॉलम लाइक ट्वेंटी वन थर्टी थ्री पास कर वन थर्टी थ्री पास कर एंड समेर यू माइट हैव लर्न सेंटीमीटर एस जी सेंटीमीटर एस जी एक्चुअली वन एटी एम इक्वल टू सेवेंटी सिक्स सेंटीमीटर एस जी सेंटीमीटर एच जी लिखते हैं उसको और मिलीमीटर एच जी भी लिखते हैं तो देर आर मैनी अदर थिंग्स रिगार्डिंग प्रेसर तो विल टेक हियर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक पास कल सलाह इन